Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me on the catio today. Um, Loki's going to be the first kitty out on site. Here he is. We had a big rainstorm last night, so everything's wet. But they certainly don't mind. Luna's still eating inside. So it's still incredibly warm. Um, but our September's here in Nova Scotia uh, cool off quite a bit in the evenings. Still nice and warm during the day, but um, it won't be very long and our temperatures will change rapidly. I'm really excited about the um, the change of leaf colors <laughs> on our trees. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to showing you when it happens. It's so beautiful out here. Oh, Luna changed her mind. Bear might be out though. Yes, yeah, so I'm planning to, um, when, the, when the colors change, I'm going to take you on a walk back through the woods there so you can see the beauty, it's quite amazing. Oh, there's Mr. Bear, he's cleaning up the spoon. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> Yeah, so my grandson has gone home. He was with us for three days. <clears throat> He's the dearest little boy. He's so mature for 12. It's amazing. I guess that's how kids are nowadays. He's an only child, though, so I think that also adds to the maturity. We had a great time with the metal detectors. We're planning a few little excursions with them. We have some, well, we have many beaches. Our little province is nearly surrounded by water. Um, so there are many, 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 many little coves and beaches. So um, I guess about maybe 15 miles from here, there's a beach um, and there's a, a cove on that beach. It's called Black Hole. And it's apparently where the pirates used to uh, pull their ships in and do work on them and um, the story is that uh, there was treasure hidden there and never recovered so um, our plan is to take our metal detectors just mostly for the story and the, I'm sure we won't find anything but when you're 12 years old and you're searching for pirate treasure <laughs> it's pretty exciting so we're gonna do that and um, what we would love to do on our bucket list is to go to Florida and uh, metal detect the beaches where all the Spanish ships. Uh, we were watching a show on it yesterday and apparently 11 Spanish ships went down off the Florida coast and five of them haven't been recovered yet. So there's still lots of treasure coming in on the beaches, I'm sure. So ever since we started uh, metal detecting a few days ago, Aiden's been on YouTube watching all kinds of metal detecting videos. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I don't know where the other kitties are. Oh, there's Luna. Luna, are you coming out? Are you coming out? <laughs> I don't know where Bear went. So Loki's appointment with the groomer is Friday this week. We've never had a groomer, so I don't know how it's going to go. But when Loki's at the vet, he's, he is just amazing. And all of them are. They just, uh, they just go into a state of, 
I suppose it's a state of shock, but they're very, very good. So I'm really hoping it turns out well. Um, I'm going to ask the groomer if they mind if I record the, the, uh, the grooming session. So you, you can see what happens and uh, hopefully um, hopefully it'll go well. I really feel like it will because he's very docile. Yeah, so that's coming up at the end of the week. Loki's going to look very different with his lion cut. <laughs> yeah, so as far as the mats go, I've got everybody else under control. Except for Loki's belly. That's really only the problem area, but... Well, his back legs, too, and his bum a little bit. He doesn't like me to touch his back legs with the comb, so I can never get near them. But we'll give him a fresh start with a lion cut brush them every day after that and there should never be problems again because I'm training them all to, uh, to be brushed every day so I guess nobody else is going to join us on the catio this morning don't know what's going to be like today it's pretty wet this morning Actually, I think it's supposed to clear up this afternoon. I'm supposed to mow my mother's lawn. It takes me an hour and a half to mow her lawn on a tractor. So uh, that's probably what I'll be doing this afternoon. But anyway, thanks for joining Loki and I on the catio today. I'm sorry nobody else came out, but Loki's pretty good, aren't you, Loki? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow.